Hi, Easy Guide here. Uh, today, I'll be showing you guys a quick guide on the auction house and how to use it as well as listing some items. So if you go in here, uh, on the left are the tabs for different types of items and they're fairly straightforward in translation. So I won't be going over the translations, but um, as you can see, if you just click on these, you'll be able to find specific items uh, in that category, as well as um, something like battle items, uh, some engraving, engraving books, as well as uh, your atlas completion items. So you can easily find some of the items that you want through this menu, or you can type in the name that you are looking for specifically and look for the search. So how do you list items? And I've gotten a lot of questions about this. You want to go to the second tab and then you want to go to the bottom right. And this is uh, translated to item registration. So you click here and you can have different items. Uh, a lot of items actually aren't tradable, but most of the tradable items are battle items and like I mentioned, the Atlas completion items as well as uh, engraving books. So let's say I want to sell this, right? Right now, uh, what it says is recent transaction for one gold, lowest, trans uh, lowest money or the lowest amount that you can put this for, one gold. So, and it's asking for how much do you want to put for one item? So right now I'll put it for one gold and I currently have one in my inventory so I don't have any options to change it and how long you want to put it up for. So let's say even if I want to put it for one one day, it doesn't change the price. So, But I, I would imagine if it's a different item for let's say 1000 gold, then it will alter the price. But the main number that you want to watch out for is down here. This one says uh, registration safekeeping so to say it's kind of um it's kind of like they take one gold from you and they give it back after the transaction is complete or um the the item is expired like the duration expired so this one um is basically they take away one gold and give back one gold plus the item price so if, it, if my item sells you'll get two gold back but you would have put in one gold in the beginning so it's kind of like a deposit I believe that's the word. The second second uh, second line is the uh, tax. I believe that's tax. So if it's something like uh, 1,000 gold, then they'll take a tax of 5%, so 50 gold. And the third line is how much you have. So I want to put this up for one day. I'll register, and as you can see, my gold total went down by one because I, put in, I had to put in a deposit of one gold. So that's pretty much straightforward on how to search for items in the auction house as well as registering items. Remember the button is down here. This is how you register items. So I hope you guys, uh, I hope that helped everyone out uh, and I'll see you guys next time.